Hello everyone, Philippe here again, again here with Daniel. Going to continue with the side control attacks from the Nogi. Let's start away everyone. Nice to see you. Moving the head, just to loosen up a little bit. Sideways. Up, down. Sorry, coming ahead, everyone. Both sides. On. The other arm. Hips. Also both sides of a one. Okay, pull it down. And reach. Sometimes inside. And hip escape. Sometimes inside of a one. Going to the turtle and doing our long step that we've been doing since the beginning of the side control positions. If any of this is news for you, just check the previous videos. We have the details, sometimes inside as well. Switching base, everyone, elbows and knees coming up, leg through, weight on the elbow. I'm gonna go back again, same thing, opening my elbow and my knee, pushing my leg through. Keeping the weight on the elbow that is on the floor, ten times inside as well. One side, the other side. Okay, and rolling back and forth over the shoulder. Watch your hands, everyone, so you don't hurt your neck. Always rolling over the shoulder, either landing on the knee or landing on the hip. Five times inside, back and forth, and we're gonna go with the partner drills. Let's go, everyone. Okay, people. So just. Uh, Repeating the exercise that we've been doing with the transitions. Daniel is going to start here in the side control. She wants to get the control of the underhook, so you cannot use the underhook. So she's going to extend the leg, dropping the hip. First, she brings the elbow here under my armpit. She's going to switch towards my hip. My knees are pointing up. She's simply pulling my knees down, hopping towards the mount as she gets the mount. Always with the hip lows, okay, everyone, so I cannot bench press my opponent in here. She wants to go back to the side control, so if she want to move her hip towards my right side, she's going to get the control first off the elbow under my left armpit, and now she's got a long set. Oh, keeping her weight on top of me, switching the base, getting to the cross face, and she's back here. Okay, so just going back and forth. As we've explained before, she gets the underhook, she switches, pulls my knee to her, up to the mount, hips heavy, elbow under the other armpit, doing her back step to the other side, establishing the cross face, and we're just gonna move back and forth. The, what we can do to change a little bit, keep going, Daniel, is as she gets to this point, if I choose to cross my leg, to block her from, from pulling my legs down. She's gonna simply grab her foot, pull towards her chest, over my belly, and here she is going to get the mount the same way, switching to the other side, just like before, and she's gonna have it. Okay, so doing this before for three minutes, okay? One on top, the other one on the bottom. Pay attention to get the transition tight, rather than fast, okay? Since we have the side control, there's no need to be fast. Just make sure that we, you have a good pressure so you probably can move. Moving forward, everyone. All right, people, so we're gonna do another drill, okay? And this one, I'm gonna uh, advise people with a little bit more experience to try it. But if you're new, you can also try it. Just pay attention to the steps. And uh, again, everyone, no need to be fast. Okay, we have to be fast when we actually apply, but since we're learning, it's most important for us to understand the steps, so step by step, so you guys 
don't lose yourselves. All right. So, what is the problem when I have side control? I've been we've been talking a lot about this underhook thing because if I'm here controlling Danny and Danny manages to get the underhook here uh, on on the, my right armpit in this case. If I just try to hold Dania, she's gonna keep using the underhook, getting the space, and she can end up on my back. Okay, so this is a very dangerous scenario that we can have. Okay, so what are we going to do is when Dania tries to get the underhook, I'm just gonna switch sides around her head so she doesn't put me back in the guard so I can retain my position. So how is this gonna work? I'm gonna be here. Then it's gonna start getting the underhook and turning towards me. When this happens, everyone, I'm going to step here with the leg that is close to the head, I'm gonna step here behind her head, okay? And now what I'm going to do, this knee that is up, I'm gonna drop on the floor together with this elbow. So I'm gonna drop this knee behind her back and this elbow in front of her belly. And I'm gonna switch my stance, okay? I'm gonna keep my weight on my elbow and my knee, and just like we did before, I'm gonna long step. What is important for us here, everyone? When I'm doing the long step, just like we, we've been talking about this a lot, the hips up, okay? If I sit, I allow Dania to turn to me, and I'm gonna lose my position, all right? So as long as I keep my hip up, I'm using my foot to drag my weight on her, and from here, try to turn to me, Dania. Okay, done is trapped. So from here, I'm just gonna go back to the side control and retain my position. For the sake of the exercise, I'm gonna let Dania turn to me again and she's gonna get the underhook, okay? So here, same thing, everyone. I'm going to step behind her head and here, elbow and knee drop together and I wanna place my elbow here in front of her belly, okay? My knees behind her back and my elbow is in front of her belly so Dani cannot move her hip, all right? From here, I'm gonna keep my weight on her. I'm gonna long step so I don't lose my pressure. I'm gonna go back to the side control and I have Dania in this bad spot right here, okay? Like I said, for the sake of the exercise, Dania turns to me, she gets the underhook, step behind the head, elbow and knee drop on the floor. I long step and I'm back into the side control. So basically three sets. She gets the underhook. I'm gonna go one, two, and three. Okay, and I'm back. Like I said, we don't have to do that fast. As you guys get more comfortable with this, then we can start doing things, connecting the steps a little faster to one side and to the other side. Okay. Again, pay attention everyone to do this transition in a tight way so your opponent cannot move. And the idea of this is to prevent our opponents from escaping, okay? So this one guys, again, three minutes each side. Follow the steps. As you get more comfortable, connect the steps a little bit faster. Three minutes, one of you on top, then you switch. And let's go to the positions, people. Oh, okay everyone, so uh, today I'm gonna show a situation that you see happening more with uh, beginners, right? Uh, but actually this became a lot popular because one of the UFC fighter, he's called Ovin Sampu, okay? He gets this show that is called the Von Flute Show. And this is a situation where sometimes when I have a side control position, my opponent is trying to get a guillotine on the other side, okay? So this is happening right here. The problem with this is normally Dunya is not going to be able to get the guillotine, okay? Because she doesn't have the proper angle. But at the same time, this is also annoying because it is difficult for me to have a proper uh, cross face position because she's pushing my head down towards the hip and I'm going to be in an uncomfortable spot. The other problem is that sometimes Dunya is going to keep this, this uh, grip and if I'm not careful enough, she's gonna be able to hipscape. And if she hipscapes, now she starts to get a good angle to get the submission. So I don't wanna let that happen. But what is the idea? If I end up in this spot where I'm on side control and Dania has the guillotine, I can use 
this situation that she is trying to get me to get a choke on her. So how is this gonna play? This hand that I have under the neck, I'm gonna push forward and I'm gonna control her armpit, okay? I'm gonna go all the way and I'm gonna control the armpit and I'm gonna start pulling her armpit towards my shoulder. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to lift my hip and I'm gonna start turning my hip towards her neck, putting the pressure and I get a choke. <coughs> this is a very strong choke, okay? So guys, uh, you, you guys can check this guy on, on, uh, on YouTube, probably you can see this, this choke is called Von Flu. Okay, this guy put, I, I believe, three people to sleep in the UFC. So it is a very effective choke. You guys are gonna see this happening a lot because sometimes when my opponent's attempting to get a guillotine, try to get a guillotine on me, you don't know, okay? And I manage to defend by turning it to the side. Sometimes people are gonna keep the grip. So again, I'm gonna grab her armpit, I'm gonna pull her armpit towards my shoulder, hip up, and I'm gonna start turning my hips towards my shoulder to get the choke. What is important? I'm gonna do that without any so she can take some time to breathe. <laughs> when you have this grip right here, you're going to lift the hip and here everyone, turning your hip towards your shoulder. You wanna put your entire weight on this shoulder right here so you can get the choke. Alright? I sure feel your entire <laughs> weight on my neck. Wanna do it to me or should I do it to you again? Alright. So one more time, everyone, that is okay. <laughs> so, I am on side control, but then it has this guillotine here on me. So again, everyone, I'm going to go further with my arm, and I'm gonna grab here on her armpit, okay? Now, what I'm doing, I'm gonna pull her arm to me and push forward with the shoulder. This is already uncomfortable for her, but not enough to choke. So I'm gonna lift my hip, turn my hip, towards my shoulder and I get the choke, okay? You guys can try this with yourselves. Be careful because this is a, a, a really tight choke and even though uh, uh, you guys are just playing around, I don't wanna see you passing out due to this. Be careful, okay, everyone, be safe. I wanna see, I wanna be, be able to see that you guys are keeping yourselves, yourselves happy, uh, healthy and active but not hurting yourselves, okay? So take care with this. Okay guys, now let's go to the train. Okay people, and just like we've been working, uh, one of you on top, the other one on the bottom, first on top, starting from side control, but from here everyone, you're free to start uh, to, to work in any positions you like, provided that you keep the control. All right, so I'm gonna be here with Danya, I'm gonna be attacking her, trying to get a submission. If she defends, I'm gonna, try to go to the mount. If I have the mount, I'm gonna keep trying to get a submission. If I get the submission, good for me, but the most important thing is for me to not to lose the position, okay? So for me, I'm gonna stay three minutes trying to get a submission without losing my position. If Tanya by any chance manages to hip skate, for example, and puts me back into the guard, she has half guard here, for example, or full guard, doesn't matter, then we start over, okay, don't let this happen, make sure you don't lose this control, or let's say that I have mount right here, and Danya trapped my arm and flipped me, okay, now she's on top, good for her, we start over from the side control, just work the same way, okay, one of you on the bottom for three minutes, and then you guys switch, then you guys can add some free rolling, also starting the side control, okay, everyone, just be careful and have fun, Hope to see you guys soon. Bye-bye.